This is Ashley Robinson, Product Specialist for Topaz Labs. In this tutorial, we will be taking a look at banding noise and the new debanding tool featured in Denoise 5. So let's start with getting a better understanding of what banding noise is and where it comes from. Banding noise appears in images as a series of parallel stripes of color, which can be horizontal or vertical. These colorful lines interrupt the fluidity of your image detail and color. The direction of banding noise is generally determined by the orientation of the camera at the time the image is taken. Occasionally, an image can suffer from both vertical and horizontal banding noise. Now, there are two types of banding noise. There's short banding and then there's long banding. Short banding appears in isolated areas of an image, but long banding extends across an entire image, either from side to side or from top to bottom, as seen here in this image. Denoise 5 tackles the problem of long banding noise and I'll show you how in just a bit. So now you're probably wondering what causes banding noise? The answer, your camera. Banding noise is a camera induced artifact that is caused by the camera sensor. Now, if you're like me, then your camera is your best friend, but there are times when it can actually work against you. The occurrence of banding noise is typically unpredictable and unavoidable. Banding noise is frequently seen with the use of high ISO speeds, in shadows, and in images that have been significantly brightened. So let's jump into the program now and take a look at this new tool and see just how it works. Now for the purposes of this tutorial, I am only going to focus on the issue of banding noise and the denoise debanding tools, but I would encourage you to check out some of the other denoise resources to learn more about the program and its other features. So here in the denoise 5 interface, you will notice that there is a new debanding tab right here in the tool panel. The debanding tab also has its own shortcut key. It's the letter G, which you can use to quickly expand and collapse the tab. The integration and use of the new debanding tool was designed to be a simple yet powerful two-step process. Step one, select the direction of the banding in your image by clicking the checkbox. Step two, adjust the banding width slider to determine how much strength is applied. And that's it. So let's take a look at another example. Here you can see that, in addition to being extremely noisy, this image also has serious horizontal banding noise. Now, this particular image is just a JPEG that was taken in extremely low light with just a regular point-and-shoot digital camera. However, it's a great example of banding noise, so you will easily be able to see the effects of Denoise's debanding tool in action. Now, the first thing I will do is come down here to my debanding tab and click on the horizontal checkbox. This tells you noise that I want to tackle the horizontal banding noise in my image. You will notice that once I check the horizontal box, it enables the horizontal debanding and automatically applies a default value of 20. Most often, this default setting will do the trick and no other adjustments are needed here. However, you may choose to lower or increase the parameter more to perfect the debanding in your particular image. One thing to keep in mind when working with the debanding tab is that setting this banding width parameter too high can actually introduce banding noise, so be sure not to over apply it. And as you can see here, the banding noise that previously extended across the entire image is now gone. Now, once in a while, you may come across an image that suffers from both horizontal and vertical banding. In the event of this, you would check both the horizontal and vertical banding boxes and then adjust your banding width slider. Once you're happy with the banding noise removal in your image, you can continue with the noise reduction process using the sliders in the Noise Reduction tab and the Detail Recovery tab to remove noise and further restore detail in your image. And that's all there is to it. Now you know all about banding noise and how you can use the new debanding tool in Denoise 5 to remove it. So if you're ready to get started, visit www.topazlabs.com downloads to sign up for a free 30-day trial. Thanks for watching.